Hi everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and this is the first week of our Ode to Anna Cal. I am super excited that you are actually joining me to make this blanket. So let's just get started shall we <laughs> for the first section of our blanket we are going to get started by doing those star squares but actually not making a square but making it much longer for the width of our blanket so my grandma used to make these because she found it easy to just make a little square and then put them together later on as a blanket but for us we are just going to do a whole length and get started like that so there will be a second video this week as well so look out for that on wednesday because that will show you how to put the stars on look at that okay so there we go week one and let's get started so this is week one and yes we are doing the very first row here so i have my starcraft special decay um all one color i have more balls than this obviously um i have my hook i always use a three and a half for this uh wool so if you use um a bigger hook for your starting chain normally if you use a different hook or if you are using a different yarn just use whatever you normally use the combination that you normally use okay so we are going to get started by making a slip knot there we go insert your hook and yes i know you're dreading me saying this but we need 195 chains just take your time Okay, there's no rush. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I am going to continue off camera, but I have here my stitch markers. I will be putting a stitch marker every 50 stitches, because that just makes sense. And then the last bit will be 45 stitches so I will see you when you have done your starting chain with your stitch markers every 50 stitches don't forget to subscribe so you get notified of every new tutorial I post okay so I have done my starting chain so I have 50 stitches here, stitch marker, 50 stitches, stitch marker, 50 stitches, so that's 150. Then here I have 45 stitches and another stitch marker in my last one. My chain, the length, when you measure it, is about 95 centimeters and that's about 37 and a half inches. So we are now going to turn and come back on ourselves. So this is still all row one. So we have 195 stitches here. Now we are going to do the turning chain. So you do another two chains and then another one. So in the pattern it says plus three chains. So that means the two is your turning chain that we've done plus a one for the boxes that we are going to make in this row so now starting from the sixth chain from our hook so you count one two three four five six so you go past the one with the stitch marker that's number four here five and then here we have six we are going to do a double crochet so you yarn over i pick up both the legs of that V there of that chain there and I pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so the stitch marker is in the location of the 195th stitch the turning chain is these two chains and this is a first chain of our repeat of our row then we do a double crochet in the sixth stitch from our hook now we are going to do 
chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the next one. Again, picking up those two bits. See? So, before I go any further, I'm just going to take another stitch marker because sometimes it's easy to lose sight here of what we've got. So the last stitch that you're going to have to do here is going to be on top of those two chains. So put your stitch marker in the second chain because that's where you're going to have to do a stitch because that counts as a stitch. This is your second stitch or the bar last one and then this is the other one, bar last one, okay? So you've got one, two, three stitches here visible that I'm showing you, okay? So just do this as a precaution for sort of the rest of your blanket, okay? Um, if you are more experienced, you might not have to do this, but it's just a way of making sure that you're not going to miss out on those last stitches. And they're important because otherwise, you know, your blanket will go in. So you're now going to continue all along the chain by doing chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next stitch. There we go. So chain one, skip one, next one. And you might think it's difficult to see, but just take your time and you'll soon figure out what it looks like. So this is the one that we've used. This is the one that we're not using. This is the one that we are going to use. And each time you do a chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next one. I will see you at the end of the row. So I've made it to the end. I've just got two little chains here left. I've got my chain done already so now into that very first or the very last chain <laughs> depending on how you look at it and of course yeah this one is going to be harder to pick the two things up from why did i decide to show this on video i will never know <laughs> but there you go you know it you might be finding this one hard as well there we go so holding the hook the other direction there we go so i've got the two Okay, and there we are. So the last one, the last double crochet. So I now have 97 repeats. So this is how I counted them. I disregarded this one here, and then I just counted the chain and the double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and I have 97 of those. Okay, and that's what you need. So, this was row one. Congratulations, you've made it so far. <laughs> now we are going to get started on row two. Let's see if we can get on with that. So we are going to chain three. That chain three counts as a chain two for the stitch and a chain one for the skipped stitch or the chain one that we are doing here. And now we are going to turn, you're going to skip one so when it says skip one, you actually skip the very n next stitch. So this, in this case here, this is a chain, so that's fine. And then it says seven double crochets. So that means you do one double crochet in the next seven stitches. So if you get one of those sort of seven double crochet or three double crochet or even 195 double crochet, that means you each time advance to the next stitch, okay? Here, of course, my next stitch after I skipped this one was a double crochet, so I go into that one. Then the next stitch is a chain, so you go round the chain. The next one is a double crochet, so into that one. The next one, a chain, so around it. Okay, so just where it makes sense, basically. And you do seven stitches, so I've done six, so one more. 
There we go. Okay. Then you chain one, skip one, and seven double crochets. So on top, around, on top, around, until you have done seven. There we go. Two, four, six, seven. And once again, chain one, skip one, and seven. So this is your repeat. Um, because we need seven double crochets next to each other and then each time in between there we're going to have a little opening. So we're going to do this to the end of the row and I will see you there because we will have some stitches left over and I'll tell you what to do with those. I will see you at the end of the row. Okay, so I have made it to the end of my row. I've done my last repeat of the seven double crochets and I have this bit left, which is correct. So I do a chain and then you do your last double crochet in that chain where you've put that stitch mark. See, that's why it's easy um, if you would, you know, if you do this, then you know where exactly where to put it. There we go. Okay. Now you can each time move up this stitch marker, so take it with you. I would leave this one on as well, just so you, you know where the corner is. And sometimes, yeah, it might be handy to take it along with you. It depends on how experienced you are and if you think that's easy for you to do. So I now have 24 repeats of seven double crochet. So I just counted the repeats, 24 I have. And the length of my... Um, work here is 108 centimeters or in fact 42 and a half inches long okay so once you've got your chain don't you know it that doesn't matter too much it's this is the width that you need now okay and this is just about the width that i get with um just about under 200 stitches okay so 195 stitches for me is about 108 110 centimeters wide Okay, let's start row three. So we are going to once again chain three, one, two, three, turn, skip the first stitch, and we are going to do three double crochets in the next coming stitches. Then we are going to chain one, skip one, and another three double crochets. Once again, chain one, oops, skip one, and three double crochets. So this time, our repeat is chain one, skip one, three double crochets. And that's how you are going to continue all along your line. Now, just to be clear here, you need to have these on top of each other. Okay, so we've made a hole in the middle now as well, but these ones here will be holes throughout. So I need to make a hole here. So I'm going to chain one, skip one, three double crochets. There we go. Okay. I will see you at the end of the row. <laughs> I have made it to the end of my row by repeating three double crochets, chain one, skip one. And now I here I have to do that last one. So chain one, yarn over ready for your double crochet, 
into the second chain from that turning chain from the low row below and you do your double crochet there we go now we are going to do three chains one two and three you turn your work and we're ready for row four so we are going to skip one then we are going to do seven double crochets so skip one into the next one seven double crochets along the next seven stitches but of course we are doing three on top of the double crochets and then here we have that chain so we go round it for the fourth one then five six and seven there we go all right now we are going to skip one chain one and again seven double crochets there we go and this is how you are going to continue all along the line to the end of course where we will do the last stitch together and we will continue on there we go mm -hmm. And I've made it to the end of the row again so here we are one more chain and then a double crochet in that second chain from the turning chain from the last row there we go now we are going to do a chain three again one two three we turn and this time we are going to skip one double crochet in the next chain one skip one double crochet in the next chain one skip one double crochet in the next so this is how we are going to continue our row here and again we have to make sure that this one here of course is always a hole so i will see you at the end of the row There we go. And once again, I'm at the end of the row. I have done the chain one, skip one, double crochet all along. So finishing in the same way as we are used to now. There we go. So this is one of our repeats. So what we are going to do now from row six, we are going to start repeating row two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. So each time you're going to be repeating these, these rows. And here I have made a little uh, sort of overview so you can tick off what you've done. So you've done here the initial repeat with me, two, three, four, five. Now you're going to do another repeat so we're going to do six repeats on top of this first one so in total we'll have seven repeats so row six will now be row two row seven will be row three row eight will be row four row nine will be no five row five and then so on so each time you can tick off so this it can be found on my blog on my wordpress blog ophelia talks crochet and you are going to, yeah, you'll be able to print this off and you'll be able to tick off the numbers of the row that you have done. So I hope this is clear for you to use this because sometimes people are doing those tallies, which is fine. But obviously, if you can actually tick off the number of the row, that might make it easier for you. So we're doing another six repeats of what we have just done here, bar the bottom row. OK, so another six times this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we end in a row of boxes. So good luck with that. And I will see you at the end of this video, obviously, with my six um, or my seven repeats done. 
and keep watching because I'm showing you my progress throughout this blanket section and there's even cake involved. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And we have made it to the end. Well, the end of the first week. <laughs> so I have seven of these repeats and I have started a new ball just about here. So that was in between. Let me have a look as I'm writing it down. So that was in between sort of just after starting um row 22 that's when i had to change um to a next ball so you can sort of gauge uh, from that where you are um i am leaving these out for now um just because then it gives me the idea of where i changed i am writing it down as well but i just want to um you know sort of keep all that towards the end i mean I recommend you do it as you go but obviously because we're only working with one uh, color uh, we are not going to have to put in that many ends so I guess it's okay to do them at the end I'm really liking how it looks and I hope you found it easy sort of after a while you could see which row you were doing so after a while I didn't need the pattern anymore so for me it was quite a relaxed way of crocheting you know which row am I doing oh yeah that one okay and I was off doing it so yeah that was quite a nice sort of session of crochet and I hope you will enjoy it too so this is week one I hope to see you next week with your finished piece as far as mine is now. Good luck and happy crocheting. Bye.